All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Aditi, here from GFX Comet. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate the Life in Bloxburg user interface. And I'm just going to try and put my little twist on it. I think the entire UI is pretty clean, but as far as it goes, it is a bit basic. And I think it'd be some pretty cool... I guess, I guess it'd be a pretty cool challenge just to go ahead and, you know, add my own little twist, add some gradients on there, just see how it looks in general. Hopefully try and make it look better as far as that goes. And so let's start right off. So we can see right here, they've got a basic, just a square with a drop shadow and let's just match the shape. I like the shape they have. All right, real quick, just to let y'all know, we have a uh, completely new website, as you can see here. So if you hit shop, we have all the categories so if you go to user interface as you can see and uh, the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products you have a search bar up here and if you want to log in sign up but uh, yeah with that being said make sure to check our website at gfxcomma.com hope you enjoy this video well, we're gonna go just a bit more rounded and I like to use gradients on this because it'll just look a bit better as far as this is concerned and so they're using the utmost blue up here so what we're gonna do is just match this on top and we have a nice little button made and so now we can just go ahead and reduce the distance on this take the same exact color on here or we can go down here oops we could go over here and then just go all the way down just until it's a bit darker than even that and so here we have our revised button it was fairly straightforward I hope you guys caught on to that and so we're just gonna go ahead and rasterize this and next I just wanted to keep the basic I guess simple Bloxburg look I think it's more of an iconic UI just because the game hasn't been updated in terms of UIs for so long that it's just what everyone's used to so I don't want to go ahead and rearrange everything. I don't want to do anything too much extra. So we're just going to set down another layer on the end and we're going to go ahead and make our side box or the back box, which contains all the info, all that. And I'm just going to lay it down as black as for now until I get my proportions right. And I like how minimalistic they went with the look once again, just because it's really easy to navigate for new players and games like Bloxburg are getting tons and tons of new players. I think this should be good as far as sizing goes. Bang. And so now we have this, just a black box. And what we're gonna do here is similar to what we did with these um, these buttons over here, but we're gonna try and make it look a bit nicer. So we can mess around over here, and I like the gradient I made already, but it's gonna have to go if we're gonna be sticking with white. And here we go. And we have a very, very, very simple, simple gradient of white. I guess a better idea over here would just be to lay the entire background as a black, just so you guys could see it much better. Here we are. And so I like the whole theme of gradients just because it's so simple to do. It's so simple to implement. Anyone can do it as long as they match the colors right. And you could pull off a really, really clean look. And now, as far as what I want to do with this, I think we could do a little box over here. Match it with the lengths of these, just so everything looks even. And that's really just a big tip I learned, by the way. So you never want to do something like this, where it, it just throws off the entire look of the UI. So let's just make everything even. That way, it's all linear. Every It's just more enjoyable to the eye. same lengths and then we can increase the size on here 
And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an inner shadow. And so with the inner shadow, I already made my settings. You guys can re recreate these settings if you'd like to. This just makes the entire box pop out. And the reason we do this is because the top of the UI is already a bit white. And if we just add a white box, it's just gonna look weird. And it's not really gonna have the same style almost. And so we have the look that we like over here. And now what we're gonna do is hop straight onto the second panel. And what they try to do here is this little clean looking selection box. And we're just gonna match the width of our box once again, just to make everything look a bit more appealing to the eye. Bam. Over here. And we already have made the layer style that we want for this and we're just gonna stick with that consistently. So paste the layer style on here. And then with this, we have to add this little white box. So we're gonna get to that in a bit and then let's knock these little bars out the way. Eesh. Do not scale like I just did. Um, that's going to pose very low res. It's just going to look a bit low quality to what you want to make. So let's match the widths of this. That'll be fine. And then we're going to shrink ours just because our background here is a bit smaller. And then zoom in just a bit. I want to make sure the gaps on both of these are identical almost and that has a lot more to go with like I said before the just the general look the appeal of the UI it just makes the entire UI just look that much more neater more minimalistic there we go that should be about right and what we can do here now is just blend options oops go on here Blend options, gradient overlay, go on to the darker one first. Um, I usually recommend all of your darker colors go on the bottom. There can be some scenarios where this rule changes, but that's very rare, very, very rare. And just duplicate that drop shadow. And now we have two different variations of the same exact box, same color, same gradient, but just a more high quality looking one. And we're gonna this just right make sure nothing unnecessary is ruining the flow of the UI and so same thing goes here 